machine. It's got the the double spout. There's the Dioro. Looks to be a very hi guys. DK388, and in today's video, we're going to talk about some small but fundamental upgrades on the DeLonghi 785 Espresso Maker. So I've had this machine for about a year now, and I've uh, been using all the standard attachments and accessories that come with it. So this is the standard porter filter that comes with it. And these are the baskets. These are dual wall pressurized basket baskets, and this is a, a double shot one. So it's got an insert and a small pinhole at the bottom, which creates the pressure, which creates the artificial crema, as you can see there. Uh, so today um, I've purchased some accessories um, for the upgrade, not the upgrade to the machine itself, but some accessories and attachments. And I thought I'd just run through them today and show you what we've purchased. Uh, so first of all, we're replacing the, the porter filter uh, and basket of a, uh, a bottomless filter, but initially it looks, looks quite good, um, good quality. And there's the open basket, so we can see the uh, the brewing once it's uh, pressed. Um, I believe this handle detaches. Uh, so it looks good quality. Um, let's see how well it performs. Really, um, it's made by the same same company. Um, not sure you can see it stamped in. It's a 51 mil. And it's got the three years, um, so it's the same, same as the standard. So there's it, there it is, side by side. In terms of depth, slightly shorter. And obviously, you gain a bit more without the, the nozzles on the shell. If we can do it that way. Um, uh, second accessory I've brought is a, a single wall basket, open basket, bottomless one as well, to go with the porter filter holder. A third accessory is a, a dosing ring, so it's all magnetic, so the little, little full mag magnets there which clip onto the porter filter. And then a fourth accessory is a screen puck, and this one's a 51mm. Neo Uza, I think is the purpose. This is the two things really. Um, one, it helps the distribution of water into the filter basket, and two, it keeps the uh, the head clean in direct contact with the head of the machine. Um, we'll call it Tia Oro. Apologies for the Italian, but as you can see, it's got a logo on the far right there. Uh, you can see. It's like for a coffee machine, it's got the the double spout filter and the, along with the um, stove top for that one. The very first attempt, um, probably not the best to be honest. But, uh, I'm not sure if I've tamped it hard enough or.
have to say we've got a bit of an improvement. Mm, got a bit of a crumb there. We need a bit more practice work, but maybe it's to do with the dial size of the coffee bean and the coffee grounds. Um, so maybe the next upgrade is uh, nothing to do with the machine but uh, a coffee grinder. So I'll have to do a bit of homework on that. And hopefully that'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching.